All right, Raleigh Young Professionals, welcome to another member spotlight. I'm super excited to be chatting with Kara Hamill today. Kara, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I, I, uh, I hope the connection's okay. My connection's a little spotty. The sound is great, but hopefully um, there's not too yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at um, a coffee shop right now because I have seven roommates. Oh, <laughs> so seven. I'm trying to figure out a way to kind of find a stable environment to talk to anyone in. So I appreciate your patience with the noise. You're good. I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old. So that's like seven rooms. <laughs> yes, that is pretty equivalent for sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, tell, uh, tell the group here, tell us all, tell me a little bit about who you are and, and what you do for a living and maybe mm -hmm. where you're from. Yeah, so I'm from originally Westchester, Pennsylvania, which is about 30 minutes outside of Philly. So I just graduated from NC State, 2020 graduate. It's been a weird time. Yeah, but um yeah, so I came to NC State as a textile design major and then ended up switching to creative writing about halfway through. So I have a couple years of experience as a textile design major, and that kind of got me passionate about art and graphic design, which have been things that I've been passionate about a long time, but I think that started to become something that I wanted to actually make into a profitable career for me. So. Um, right after I graduated, I think I wanted to just dive completely into graphic design. Uh, before then, I just kind of tossed ideas around a little bit. And so I've been doing freelance fine artwork for about three years now. Um, it has been off and on because of school and volunteering and just having a lot of things going on in my life. But um, that's been a pretty consistent thing for me and then that evolved into taking on graphic design clients specifically about a year ago and so I've been kind of just growing that and expanding that and it's turned into pretty much a like full-time career for me right now so um, that being said I am still looking for a full-time position with a larger company um, in terms of graphic design or like marketing related um, career paths but I right now am just living my freelance life and doing what I can do there. So it's been good. Living the freelance life. <laughs> okay. It's like quite that. unstable, but I it's bet. really fun. Yeah. I bet. I bet. Yeah. So you're looking for something more stable. You're looking for yeah. something full time. Do you have an ideal organization that you'd like to be a part of? Or do you have in your mind what that ideal job looks like for you? Yeah. So it's. I think it's been really hard for me to like hold on to like my dreams with that right now just because everything is so crazy I found myself like really settling for companies that I feel like I I don't know I not that I deserve more but I think that I'm a little bit more qualified than um, I am coming off right now just because of the pandemic and everything that's going on with the economy and I think a lot of companies right now are hesitant to like graphic designers are not their first hire, um, which is unfortunate because that's where a lot of this stuff starts. Like you can't get off the ground until you have a good logo and a good like brand identity. And so I think that is something that companies are learning more and being more willing to talk about. But I think that in times like this, it's one of the first things to go. So um, that's been a little bit discouraging, but I think that ideally maybe like 10 years down the road i'd love to be doing this like for some sort of nonprofit organization because that's something that i'm really passionate about um i'm passionate about like social justice initiatives and um like uplifting women specifically and so i'd love to see myself doing something where i'm actually making an impact in that community down the road um for now i'm just trying to get experience and trying to like get to where I feel like I'm supposed to be right now and trying to be content with that. So yes, that's where I, we're at. I understand. I've talked to a few people lately that are just recent graduates and that's what sparked yeah. a lot of these conversations is that it's tough out there right now. And so yeah. I've got to believe yeah. that within this group of 5,000 people, there are some people that mm -hmm. know somebody or can some connections that we can help out. And I want to do some good. I want to help people yeah, find their next role and find their job. And so that's what I'm hoping to do yeah. today. And so, you know, I, I like to get to know you a little bit. I want the Raleigh Young mm -hmm. to get to know you. And, you know, one of the questions I like to ask is, you know, in within graphic design, what do you think is like the number one thing companies struggle with and that, and what would be your answer to, to helping them solve that? Yeah, well, I think 
playing off of the thing that I was saying earlier about being hesitant to hire graphic designers, they're specifically hesitant to hire entry level and like junior level designers. Um, which is very unfortunate because I think that that's, it's an industry where you, you constantly need fresh minds and fresh perspectives. And so I think just because someone doesn't have the like three to five years of experience that's on literally every single job application as a requirement, like does not mean that they are not perfectly capable of accomplishing the job in a way that is like fresh and innovative and really, really, really good for the company and good for the growth of the company. So I think um, that's something that's been really discouraging. And I actually, I have like a graphic design kind of mentor guy right now, just a, basically a friend. Um, um, who has been kind of going out of his way to just like encourage me and uplift me, which is something that I would encourage everyone to do right now, because I think that's something that has made an extremely big impact on me. And so um, I'd say like people in steady careers and in places where they feel like they are in a position to take like 2020 graduates specifically under their wing and kind of be like, look, you're going to be okay. Like you're going to get through this. I know it's a frustrating time, but um, especially just in creative careers, like it is very hard to stay encouraged because your work feels so personal. So yeah, I'd say that like, that's something that I think companies need to be looking at a little bit more and just being willing to, I don't know, just be a good human and like go out of their way for other people who are struggling. So what so talk about good timing and we didn't set this up. I don't know if you just saw this, yeah. one, but I literally right before our conversation posted in the young yeah. group on LinkedIn, uh -huh. I'll start a mentorship directory and because I think we all should oh, wow. be going back and helping out people that are going through yeah. a position right now so I literally just said yeah. that. but you said it way back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you I mean I yeah I just I think as a person who is in that position right now of like needing that I just want to like say a big thank you to everyone who has been willing to do that to younger people so far and just being willing to go out of their way to encourage and uplift and teach and you know, it just means a lot. So thank you, I, everyone. I couldn't agree more. I'm so glad you said that. Okay, let me give you one final question here. This is a softball. Yeah. So um, somebody's watching this right now. They want to connect with you. They mm -hmm. want to get involved and, you know, mentor or coach or just give some yeah. advice. Or they've got maybe Absolutely. a connection for you that they want to get you plugged mm -hmm. into. What's the best way to go about connecting with you and setting up a one-on-one -on -one or getting to know you better? Yeah, so I have um, a couple different platforms. I have an Instagram page where I usually post like my fine art work. So that's one way if you're looking for um, just to check out some of my work, you can go there and that's um, Kara Hamill Art on Instagram. So just my, I think you'll probably post my name under this so they know how to spell it. It's a little bit weird spelling, but yeah, just Kara Hamill Art on Instagram. And then my website is um, karahamillportfolio.com very easy, very straightforward. <laughs> Shouldn't be hard to find me, but um, I can also maybe have you link that below. And then, and they're welcome to email me, reach out. I am very good at email. And so um, that's karenicole188 at gmail.com. So that's the way to contact me there. All the ways, all the ways. So yeah, all the ways. I make it very easy. <laughs> I love it. Well, I appreciate you taking time to come on. It's been super awesome getting to know you. And um, yeah. I'm, just, I'm grateful that I have the ability to have this platform where hopefully we can find somebody that can, uh, that can help you take those next steps. So yeah, absolutely. I appreciate your help a ton. Thank you so much. Pleasure is mine. And thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Raleigh Young Professionals, thanks for checking out another member spotlight. If you know somebody that would be a good connection or if you're a good connection or a referral for Kara, uh, please reach out. Let's set that up and uh, we'll be back with another one, uh, another one soon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.